Hey guys, Josh here with another Incursion Guard, but this time very, very specific. We can go with the Hinterlands Incursion Guard, the max level zone. Hinterlands is level 50 zone for the Incursion. And we're going to go through a quick recap of what Incursions do and what Incursions are. So requirements, I assume you watched my previous Incursion video, so you got your five man group ready. Now for a Hinterlands specifically, you want to have a healer and tank in your group. If you don't have a healer and tank in your group, you're going to have to get it. There is no, really no kill circuit for this. You're going to have to kill a few mobs here and there. And especially for one of the escorts, you're going to have to kill a Hydra. You also all have mounts because funnily enough, when I've done some of my Ashenvale incursion runs, people don't have mounts, okay? <laughs> Which is quite funny. Now, let's go through the Intense Incursion. So let's do a brief overview of the Intense Incursion. There are 18 quests and three sections. The three sections are going to be Moonkin, Turtles, and Dragons. Now let's just go through the quests in particular. One, two, and three are all quests to kill Mookin, Turtles, and Dragon. So for the kill quests, they've been nerfed heavily. So you only have to kill 20 Mookin, 20 Turtles, three Elite Dragons, and 10 Whelps. You are going to ignore the Turtles quest because you are never going to kill Turtles. But you are definitely going to kill Dragons and Mookins during this. The next one is the Intelligence quest. There are four, five, and six in Roman numerals. You're going to grab me. You're going to be grabbing all of them. They're in good places. The hardest one to grab is four, which is next to Doomkin, which is for the Moonkin area. Next one is seven, eight, and nine, which are the item quests, where there's going to be a Moonkin item, a turtle item, and a dragon item. Be aware that the turtle items and dragon items are near the bosses, um, but you can do them relatively easily without aggroing the bosses. 10, 11, 12 are gathering quests, so you can largely ignore these unless you're killing a boss and you can gather at the same time. And 13, 14, and 15 are the boss quests, which is Doomkin, Florius, and Gamarusia, simply called Moonkin, Dragon, and Turtle. And last but not least are the escort quests in Moonkin, Turtle, and Dragon. Now, the route is essentially start from the portal. So this is a written route. So if you want a written part of this, I'll put this in the comments below. But essentially, you start from Serodin, the portal, and you go to the turtle area. You go to the Turtle Escort, which is in the second troll camp. So you can see those troll camps on the Hinterland map. There's one and two. It's the one in the southeast, not the, the wooden camps I'm talking about. So there's two wooden camps in the east when you go from Skull Rock. It's the second one, and it has a Hydra in it. You want to kill that Hydra or leash it, and then you grab the Escort and keep running. If it isn't there, you go to the next area. The next area, you go to the Troll Ruins in the southeast, which is the arch with the Stonish Arch. You go there. In the little basin, there are four jewels. You pick one up, you got a dream pearl, and then you go to the intelligence night elf, which is just a bit further along, deep into that room. Next up, you want to kill the turtle boss. The turtle boss is relatively harmless. He takes a while to kill. More groups means he dies quicker. The reason why you want to kill the bosses in this instance is that the boss quests now give 150 rep and a bit more gold. And Gamaruja is doesn't harm anyone at all. Okay, he's very, very easy to kill. After this, you're going to do a skip. So what a skip is, is that when you go out of bounds of a certain area, you get a debuff. And after 10 seconds, you get, you automatically cast a two second half, which puts you back at the start of the bridge that you came from in front of Skull Croc. After this, you ride a top of Skull Croc, you check the hammock for the escort. If the escort isn't there, you go back down, kill all the Moonkin that you aggro. It is much quicker than trying to leash them. Next up, you go into the cave of Skull Croc. You go to the right, you kill every Moonkin and aggro it to the green chest. You kill the Moonkin or Moonkin, you loot the chest and you jump down. If you have any pets, they'll aggro all the extra Moonkin and make sure you kill all of them before you go for the next part, which is going to be the intelligence. Now, there's a cave behind you and that contains Doomkin. You want to go into that cave from where you've dropped down. In front of you will be Doomkin and then to the left will be a green chest, which you don't need to grab because you already got it. And then there'll be the intelligence right in front of you. So even if there's a second group there, you ask them if they want to do Doomkin. If they say yes, you kill Doomkin. Beware, Doomkin is a very harmful mechanic where you cast Starfall, which is uninterruptible. And anyone within 10 yards of him is going to get a slice of life as Starfall hits incredibly hard and you want to get out of there before you die. Healers are very important, but also at the same time, make sure the DPS have the major potions you can get from the vendor. Otherwise, you are going to get slapped. Um... Whatever you do, if you kill Doomkin or leash Doomkin, make sure you pick up the intelligence. If you're leashing him, run out the cave, basically, and try to not hit him with any slowing, any dots or anything like that, because that'll cause him to re-aggro, and it's not going to be a fun time for you. Now, run outside, head to the west instead. In the first troll camp, the wooden troll camp, there's an escort, which you can interact with through the wall. So just tilt your camera up and interact with him, and that's how you grab him. 
And then you move to the Whelp Island instead. Kill the five Whelps and kill any elite Dragonkin that you pull. Now next up, once the Whelps are dead, you want to head into the Troll Ruins and the rest. West. There is a little lobby there as well. That contains intelligence. Intelligence is in front of the entrance to the 10th city with the Troll Ruins in it. Kill any Dragonkin and Whelps there. At this point, you should have about seven Whelp kills and all your elite Dragonkin killed already. After that, you want to go to the entrance. So you want to enter the 10th city on the right hand side facing into it and hug that right wall until you get to the back of the camp you may aggro one or two whelps here you just basically kill those whelps now basically what you want to do is you want to pan your camera upwards so you can see the egg in the tent and then right click the egg you can grab the egg through the wall so pretty much do that now if there's another group in the dragon camp you can clear the entire dragon camp and ask if they want to kill florius if they say yes you tag florius who's up above you in the air and basically kill him and you got another boss kill quest done after that, you mount up right to the south and out of bounds yourself so you port yourself to the Bridge of Skull Rock. Now you've done everything, so go back to Seradine, hand your escorts in, and hand the quests in, and start again. Now I thought I would add a map of this as well. So you start here. So this is where you start. You basically get to this bridge here and head to the Turtles. So the first thing you do is you check the escort in this area. This escort will have a Hydra. You need to kill the Hydra Alicia, as I said earlier. Then you go to this area, you grab the Dream Pearl, and you grab the Intelligence, which is just along here, and you kill the Turtle Boss here. Then you ride south, wherever you get the debuff, you pour it out, and you're ported back to here. Now with Skulk Rock, you get to the top of that top of the mountain, which is about roughly here. If someone's in the hammock, you get that person out, and you get ready to go. Then afterwards as well, you go into the cave, you deal with Doomkin, you deal with, you know, pick up the items, deal with the intelligence, and that's it. Next up, you go to the next escort quest, which is here. Pick it up through the wall. And then next up, you go to here to Whelp Island, kill all the whelps. Then you go to the Ruin Lobby, which is around about here. Pick up the intelligence, kill any dragon kin the aggro. And then last but not least, you go into this area here where Florius and the egg are. Make sure you ride along the right-hand side of the wall to get in there. Then afterwards you ride dead south and that is practically it. You port back to here and then you head back into Seradine and that's everything completed. And I hope you know you get these quick routes into your runs as quickly as possible and get exalted with Emerald Wardens as quickly as possible or even farm gold as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day.